Welcome to NBA Family Feud! Let me introduce the team, starting with Team Asian Persuasion, Jeff and Macho! Oh! Now the next team, My Ninjas! Woo! Yeah. Alright, let's get started. Send up your first representative to the plate. Let's get it, Jeff. You, me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whoever hits the red button first gets to guess the top ranked NBA answer. If they guess correctly, their team has up to three chances to guess every single answer. If they guess incorrectly, the other team has one chance to guess the remaining answer. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. Best selling NBA jerseys this season. Curry. Yes, that is the number one answer on the survey. Wow, Chris, amazing guess. Chris too. LeBron. LeBron James survey says. Well, we're going. Oh. Oh yeah. Number two. That's a no brainer. You guys are killing it so far. You have the top two survey answers. I would like to go Joel Embiid. Survey says. Yes. Let's go. Let's go with Luka. Luka Doncic. Survey says. Wow, they might run the table, ladies and gentlemen. Team AP, how are we feeling about this so far? We're trying to think about the ones that are not obvious because we're assuming that they'll get all the obvious ones. Okay, all right. You know, I think the uh, United States of America are big Celtics fans, so I'm gonna go Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum, survey says. Oh, Bing. yeah. All right, let's think. Let's go Paul George. No, no, no. That is only one strike. They get two more. You guys have your first strike with Paul George. He is not a top 10 selling jersey. We forgot the most obvious. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, and survey says... Giannis is that guy. Yes, he is. Yes, 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 yes. We got one. That's great. It's not your turn. <laughs> I don't, they're on a roll. They might not get it wrong. Oh, I'm tripping. Let's go Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, Durant. Come, on. come on. Survey Durant. said. Come on. Survey. He's yeah. still that guy. Good stuff, good stuff. Woo. You guys might be able to run the table here. Right. This might be a little controversial. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, survey says. No. Why no Kyrie? Two strikes, boys. All right, think, think, think. Okay, so that answer's good. We gotta think about one more just to be safe. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi oh Leonard survey God. says. Oh. Let's go. Okay, let's go. We only need one right. This is questionable, but every time I come to the stadium, this is the only jersey I see. Devin Booker. Devin Booker survey says. Let's reveal number six. This is what I thought you were gonna say. Yeah, I said that. I, I thought that. And number 10, Jimmy Damian Lillard. I didn't even think about Lillard. You guys got 88 points that round. Macho going up. Welcome to round two, gentlemen. Points per game leaders this season. Oh, wow. You didn't even try. Bro, I didn't. Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid, survey says. Number one, the MVP himself. I'm gonna go. Luka. Luka Doncic, survey says, you guys are on a hot start again. Let's go. Who scores a lot of buckets? Let's go Giannis. Giannis Antetokounmpo, survey says, bang. Oh, damn, top five. Oh, sh I'm gonna go Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum is a bucket getter. Survey says, number six. Actually, this one's tough. All right, I'm gonna go Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, he's known to get some big buckets in bunches. That's what he does. You guys are on a roll. If he's there, I gotta go Devin Booker. Devin Booker, survey says. What? Yeah, he doesn't shoot that much. I also find it surprising he's not on here, but you know. He was a sleeper last round. Let's go Dame. Damian Lillard, survey says. Bang! Third in points per game. He was dropping buckets all season. You guys are forgetting some very notable hoopers. This is a, a curveball. But uh, Jalen Brown. Oh, Jalen Brown is not a top 10 scorer per game. Thank you. What about Kyrie? Kyrie Irving is not top 10 in points per game. That is your third strike. Team Asian Persuasion. All right, we have a lot of options. You've won okay. life though. LeBron James. LeBron James, survey says. Yes. Let's go! They forgot about the go. How did we get about the king? 77 points that round. Round three, boys, are you ready? Most commonly eaten foods at NBA Stadium. Hot dogs. Hot dogs, survey says. That is number one. Yes. Let's go, Jeff. We're the food. We should know this. We've been to so many basketball games. I am the food. What does that mean? You, to be the food, you gotta know the food. He's gonna Let's nail the whole f thing. Yeah, um, burgers. Yes, great answer. Kurt survey says. 
No. No burgers? Bro. No burgers? At an NBA game, burgers are not the move, apparently. What What kind of stadium is this? All right, that's your first strike. Nachos. Nachos slash chips. There we go. Okay. Just go out the fly. French fries. Yes. Fries. That is also very Thank kind. God. Oh my God. Yes, sir. Come on. Um, Pretzels. Pretzels. That's a great guess. Yeah. Mm, pretzels. You, you, we just gotta get all the obvious ones. So that's, um, that's tough. One. Can candy? Is candy included or? Candy survey says number two. Let's go. Yes. You guys are on a roll. You have five left. Pizza. Pizza survey says. Yeah. 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 Mm. Breadsticks? <laughs> breadsticks. Wow. We're on a roll. Why are you eating breadsticks? I love it. Bro, I had it the other day. Oh. So I'm gonna go with. Beer. Beer is not one of the top 10 most coming as your second strike. Like a dessert, bro. Uh, like ice cream? Ice Ooh, cream, okay. survey says. Good guess. Good guess. Thank you. Good uh -huh. guess. Um, I'm gonna try to think. So I'm going with tacos. Tacos, survey says. No. Chance to steal. Which Chris is answering this question? This is a big comeback. We're gonna keep it with food. Peanuts. Peanuts. And this was not on the oh, yes. oh yes! I think I think we know one that we might have missed. Is is popcorn on there? Oh my god! It was popcorn. Oh, oh. We didn't even What's the last one? Coke. Is that Coke? Soda. soda. Oh, Coke. Coke would have got soda. That was 78 points. Wow, you guys have a crazy lead. Round four this is our speed round. There's only five things on this survey for this NBA season. The most commonly worn in-game shoe. Kobe's. Bring it home. Oh, uh, LeBron's? No, but you have to be specific. Number. Oh. All right, well, I'm going to give you guys control of the board since Macho was not specific enough. As long as we get that one last shoe. That's true. Good. Okay. Kobe six. But yes, Kobe six potros are number one on the survey. I'm gonna go LeBron 20s. LeBron 20s, survey says. Yes. Okay. Let me go. Uh, Kobe four. Kobe four is not on the survey. First strike. PG sixes. PG six, survey says. Bang! Wow. Yeah, wow. I knew it. It, it came to me. Wow. Dude, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hit you with a shot clock. Five, four, three, two, one. Harden twos. Harden two is not one of the most worn shoes. That is your second strike. Let's go Nike GT Cut 1s. The Nike GT Cut 1 is not one of the most worn shoes. Team Asian Persuasion. All right, we are going with Kobe 5s. Not Potros. Not. Uh, unfortunately, Jeff, it was the Kobe 5 Potros. Oh, what? Oh. You guys, the Kobe 5 is a 12-year-old shoe. And that's uh, double? This is double points. You guys got 96 points that round. Good. Okay, that's a good one. That's a that's lot. Good All rounds are gonna be double going forward. My ninjas, you guys have 96 points. Go. Team AP, 243 points. That was a close game. God. Hey, but this is a double point round a full round there are 10 answers on the board this one is going to flummox you guys i'd be surprised if you complete the board this season's assist per game leaders trey young trey young so since chris did not get the number one survey answer jeff must guess one or two to control the board Jokic. nikola Jokic. no oh. team ninjas think think let's go steph curry steph curry no sir he is the one shooting it most of the time. I'm gonna go Chris Paul. Chris Paul, survey says, one of the greatest of all time. He still got it. Seven answers remain. Uh, maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe. Let's go LeBron. LeBron James is not what? top 10 this season. Luka. Luka Doncic, that is. Bang! You guys are sitting on two strikes right now. This is really tough. Who the frick is top two? Let's go James Harden. James Harden. Oh, that's a good one. That's who I was talking about. Oh, wow. Wow. Number one. Hey, man, when you have Joel Embiid averaging 33. I'm going to just go, let's go Giannis. Giannis. Giannis is nowhere near to be found on this list. That is your third strike. Let's go. We're going with Tyrese Halliburton. Oh, my God. Tyrese Halliburton survey says yes. yes. Let's go. I didn't even think about Indiana. You guys got 120 points that round. You were up to 363. Don't feel too comfortable because they could still come back. The rest of the answers, number six, LaMelo Ball. That's surprising. We got 
Ja Morant. Ja? Darius Garland. Westbrook. No way. Yes, way. I was surprised. I think my ninjas could win this round if they get the buzzer here. Colleges with the most active NBA players. Kentucky. Yes, Kentucky. Survey says number one. Yes. Hey, that's fine. We want this. You gotta get the obvious. What is the obvious here? We're going with Duke. Duke, survey says. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go with North Carolina. North Carolina, survey says. Yes. Bam! Yes. We got the top three, baby. I'm going with the sleeper. Might not be in the top five. I'm going with Auburn. Auburn. No. Oh. Here we go. We're gonna go with the um, the local college team yes. out here, yes. UCLA. Yes. Great yeah. guess. Great yeah. guess. We got Westbrook. Bang! Yes. UCLA is popping in basketball. I'm gonna give us another strike. All right, Jeff, throw it out there. Going there on. with another wild card team, Florida. No. Guys have two strikes. Here we, we go. Chishon Man from... There's also UC... Yukon. Yes, UConn. yes. Yukon, you cannot get it right with Yukon being your answer. What's your first? I think we left the door open. Yeah, no, we did. Kansas. Kansas, survey says. Bang! Yes! What? Banger. You guys get 140 points for that. That's a big one. All right, what we're gonna reveal. Number seven, Louisville. Louisville, I would have not guessed that. Indiana. Now the last two, I don't think you guys were going to get. These two shocked me. Number nine, Notre Dame. Wow, Notre Dame. And then this one, St. John. St. John. St. John. Tenth most. Tenth most. This is the final round. You guys need this. And I think you guys would be really good at this round. I'm gonna give you guys some context on who this survey was from. A uh, Reddit user pulled other Reddit users. You can imagine the demographic of the people responding. I would guess this survey happened, let's say three or four years ago. Most handsome NBA players. Kelly Oubre. Kelly Oubre, survey says. Number two. What? Oh, Jeff, you have a chance. What? Oh, 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 oh. I got Who could be more handsome than Oubre? Jason Tatum. What? No. What? <laughs> get out of here. He's not on there? <laughs> oh, dude, this should be a cakewalk for me. What do you well, mean by Jason that? Tatum is pretty handsome. Yeah. This should be up there. Babyface assassin, Def Curry. The babyface assassin is a handsome man. Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fact check Reddit right now. This is the sexiest man in the NBA history, JJ Reddick. JJ Reddick. They agree with you, Chris. They yeah. think he's oh, 10. Thank God. <laughs> hey, he's top 10. He's top, top 10. 10. I have one that's been like locked in. Ready? Kevin Love. I've seen Kevin Love recently. He is a good looking dude. That's a good looking man. I'm gonna go super swaggy here. Jordan Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson. Not swaggy. It's all those tats he got, man. This is the handsome. That's a one strike. Number one, I will say this dude is very attractive. Very attractive. If I was a woman, I would, uh, I would date him. Either place for the Heat or the Sixers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna go with Dame. Damian Lillard, not one of the most handsome NBA players. Damn, it's always down to me. Oh, Tyler Hero. No. Oh my God. I have one if they don't get it. Majority of the rest of this is white. No comment. Demographic is Reddit users. That are white. I'm gonna put the shot clock on you guys. How much time? Five, four, okay. three, um, Two. One of the most one. handsome NBA players would have to be Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. He is yes. a handsome guy. Let's oh, go, no. Marjo! Oh. Oh. All right, we will see who you guys maybe disagreed with on the handsomeness scale. This guy looks like a movie star. Ah, uh, yeah. Kyle Corey. Whoa! You I knew it. Oh I my knew God. it. That was gonna be my next guess. This one surprised me, but I, I could see it. The way he moves is a little awkward. Kawhi. No <laughs> way. <laughs> No way. Kawhi, like Kawhi beat Jason Tatum? Kawhi over JJ Redick? Are you serious? This one makes sense, but he doesn't really deserve to be on the list, but... Chandler Parsons. No. I, I could see him He was there. a good looking guy. Yeah. This one makes a lot of sense to me. Probably not to men, but Ricky, Ricky Rubio. Rubio. Okay, I, I mean, he's foreign. Yeah. Dude, people from Spain, they age like fine wine. And number one, Gordon Hayward. Yeah, yeah I can see that one. Oh, like, my God, Gordon Hayward. <laughs> Look at my ninjas over here. <laughs> nah. Gordon Hayward in my entire existence, I've never heard not one motherfucker say that dude 
is drop dead gorgeous. I think I think he is handsome when you think about it. No, but you don't, I'm not you don't, saying he's ugly, but, but he is handsome. Team Asian Persuasion, you are the winners. Ah! Ah! Let's go, baby. My ninjas, you will come back next time with a vengeance. We will. We'll be back. I recently reunited the whole two hype crew for an epic NBA puzzle scavenger hunt. Guys, you are not gonna wanna miss it. It came down to the wire. Click up here, I will see you there.